Have you ever felt lost trying to figure out God's plan for your life? What if you could learn from a saint who faced these same struggles? Today, we'll discover how St. John Bosco's own journey of discernment can guide us in finding our true calling. The Miracles and Prophecies of St. John Bosco, a project of America Needs Fatima. I'm your host, Adrian Fonseca. Subscribe for new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today, we'll explore the young Don Bosco's search for his vocation and the pivotal role his spiritual director, Don Cafasso, played in helping him discern God's will. Key points to watch out for in today's video include Don Bosco's struggle with different vocational paths, the wisdom of spiritual direction, and the power of patient discernment. A question to ponder. How do you discern God's will in your own life when facing important decisions? And before we begin, sign up as a monthly promoter to support our work and receive free gifts in return. The link is in the description box down below right now, and I'll tell you more about it later on in the video. Don Bosco is a saint who inspires us with his great actions, prophecies, founding the Silesian Order, establishing the oratory which helped tens of thousands of young boys become Catholic men, just to name a few. In fact, so great were his accomplishments that it is difficult to conceive of him as someone like you and I, struggling to discern God's will in his life. After his ordination, Don Bosco followed the advice of Father Cafasso and entered the Convito Ecclesiastico for advanced pastoral training. Cafasso would become his spiritual director and close mentor during this period, shaping Don Bosco's approach to ministry and his work with the youth of Turin. During this time there, Don Bosco could get lost for days on end when reading anything concerning sacred and ecclesiastical history. Having friends already in the convent of Our Lady of the Countryside, he wished to go there or some other solitary place to meditate over his volume so that one day he could become a great preacher. He shared this fantasy of his one day with his spiritual director. Don Cafaso did not answer him but only responded with a silent smile. After this unclear response, Don Bosco became enamored of this thought of being a missionary. He felt called to bring the light of the gospel to the unbelievers and to savage peoples. It thrilled him that the Oblate to the Virgin Mary had penetrated into the kingdoms of Ava and Pegu, preaching the true religion. He began to imagine himself among these brave missionaries. Don Confasso let him study the French language and some Spanish, but when he saw that he was beginning to study English, too, the teacher said to the student, You must not go to the missions. At this, other ideas began swirling in Don Bosco's. He felt a vivid love for every order and congregation of religious. The struggling youth presented himself often to Don Cafasso and with enthusiasm expounded on his desire to join this or that order. The holy priest listened silently to all his plans and reasons. And once the younger man had stopped speaking, answered him with a dry and resolute, No. Meanwhile, it became time for the seminarians to attend an Ignatian retreat. Don Cafaso counseled, Your vocation, for it to be well decided, needs to be better thought out before the Lord. And pray again. Pray a lot. Especially the spiritual exercises at St. Ignatius. Go and do them. Pray to God that he will clearly explain his will to you. And then, we will talk. Once the retreat was concluded, Don Bosco waited for Don Cafaso to call him, but not a word came from his spiritual director. Don Bosco was in a difficult situation. He could no longer remain at the boarding school. It was determined that he was not called to diocesan work, while Don Cafaso had repeatedly denied him entering religious orders or consecrating himself to foreign missions. He did not know where to go. Which way then to turn? What would be the deliberation of a spiritual director? At a last desperate act, he presented himself to Don Cafaso one day, announcing that he had packed his trunk and was ready to go and become a religious. He was coming to say goodbye and farewell. To which Don Cafaso replied with a smile, But who will think of your young men from here on? Did you not feel that you could do some good by working with these young people? Don Bosco replied, Yes, it is true. But if the Lord calls me to the religious state, he will provide someone else to take care of the youth. Don Cafaso then became serious. 
stared at Don Bosco, and like a father said to him, My dear Don Bosco, abandon any idea of religious vocation. Go and unpack your trunk. If you have prepared it, and continue your work for the benefit of the youth. This is God's will, and no other. At the grave words of the director of his soul, Don Bosco lowered his head, smiling, for he had known all along what he desired. He was just waiting to hear it confirmed in the words of this man that he respected so highly. It is true that he still did not know the road he would have to travel, the ways to continue his work, the place where he would establish himself, but he didn't worry about that. God, who had spoken through the mouth of Don Cafaso, would provide the means. Don Bosco's journey of discernment shows us the importance of spiritual guidance in discovering God's will. Now you can experience his wisdom firsthand. As a monthly promoter, you'll receive exclusive access to Don Bosco's transformative writings, like Roadmap to Heaven and Sacred History. These aren't just books, they're spiritual treasures that can guide your own journey. Plus, receive beautiful images of Don Bosco and Mary Help of Christians for your home and have your intentions included in our daily rosaries and Saturday Masses. Ready to let Don Bosco be your spiritual guide? Join our monthly promoter family today. The link is in the description blocks down below to become a monthly promoter right now. I don't know about you, but I was feeling a little bit sorry for Don Bosco during his time of uncertainty. The waiting, the confusion, the earnest desire to serve God but not knowing exactly how. These are struggles that many of us can relate to. I know I can. Like Don Bosco, we often want to align ourselves with any good cause just to feel we're moving forward in our spiritual journey. Yet through this story, we witness something beautiful. Don Bosco's unwavering trust in Our Lady's guidance. Notice how he constantly returned to the Blessed Mother in prayer whenever Don Cafaso gave his firm no to another plan. Our Lady truly became his refuge, not only from external challenges, but also from his own restless desires and uncertainties. This shows us the invaluable role of both spiritual direction and and Marian devotion in discerning God's will. Don Cafaso's measured guidance, though perhaps frustrating at times, helped Don Bosco discover his true calling. Through patience and persistence, the path eventually became clear. Most importantly, we learn that even saints struggle with discernment. Uncertainty isn't a sign of weakness, but a natural part of our spiritual journey. So when you find yourself struggling to understand God's will, Remember Don Bosco's example. Turn to Our Lady with confidence. For as St. John Vianney reminds us, only after the last judgments will Our Lady get any rest. From now until then, she is much too busy with her children. But what resonated with you from today's episode? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below because I would love to hear from you. That's all I have time for today. St. John Bosco, pray for us. May God bless you. And Mary Immaculate, keep you under her mantle. God love you.